Welcome to Mowgli TV and this series reviewing all the free effects for Resolum. Today we're gonna talk about Space Warper. Space Warper is available from the Resolum forum from this post, link in the description. And for this demo I'll be using my generator BPM Audio Shapes which is available from Gumroad, link also in the description. But let's just get into Space Warper. The official description for the effect says that it will bend space and time, which is kind of a very apt description of what it does. It's basically a kind of feedback trail with an old school feeling to it, which is great for doing what its name suggests, warping things and make them wave and give them a kind of organic and retro feel. I'm going to just remove it from my composition so that you see what I've got underneath as the source. So this is what will be affecting is some stars animated with a luminous wipe going through. So I'm just going to grab Space Warper, which will appear under your wire effects of the effects panel when you install it and just put it on. Out of the box is quite subtle. You don't have many parameters to tweak. I'm going to go through them. You've got your usual blend mode and opacity. And then you've got intensity, which is self-descriptive. It makes the effect more or less aggressive and prominent. Next, we've got RGB offset, which does exactly that. It offsets your RGB values, giving it this like nice volume vibrancy and adding a bit of different color trails to your motion which is a very good way to enhance content with flat color for example. Next we've got bloom in and the bloom threshold. If you're familiar with the bloom effect this is basically what it is. It'll pick up on the brighter tones of whatever you put through the effect and enhance them so if we increase the bloom you'll see that you start getting this like lighter colored blobs which can be very nice with certain content and it can give that feel of space waviness time travel kind of thing if we bring up the intensity you'll see that it's, it becomes quite a prominent thing the threshold is the threshold at which the bloom kicks in so a lower threshold will make bloom react to basically all of it it tends to work better when you've got the threshold sent to higher values if i bring it right down you'll see It'll just wash out most of what I've got. This obviously depends on the content that you've got. So higher value threshold gives a more usable effect. And to finalize, here's an example of what the effect looks like on a very different kind of content, which is probably what it was made for originally. And this is good advice for most effects. It's good to try them on different kinds of content from really flat graphic and geometric stuff to full on video to minimal animations to whatever. Some effects work a lot better with some things than others, especially ones that utilize edges. So having an alpha channel often makes the effect behave in a very different way. So this is a good thing to remember whenever you're trying out new effect. Don't just put it on one thing and make a judgment of whether you like what it does or not. Try it with different kinds of content to actually exploit the most of that effect. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. And I hope to see you here next time.